I'm Kat Corbett, and today I welcome Courtney Stone and Katie McGuire for, from the Annenberg Pet Space in um, Playa Vista, which is such a great, fantastic spot that we discovered, I think it was a couple years ago since I've actually been on your site, uh, like on location. Yes. But you've managed to reimagine what pet rescue is all about. And so um, I'm thrilled to be able to kind of be in your space again. No, yes, we wish you could be here in person. <laughs> I bet you wish a lot of people could be. Well. Yes, we do. Uh, now, I know, let's start off first with the cat room um, because, uh, you know, uh, Courtney, I know that I, I've been in that room and you have so many great little nuggets of space for all the cats to roam free mm -hmm. and for people normally to say hello. How yes. are you both handling um, animal adoption as far as the quarantine goes? Yeah, when uh, the Safer at Home order came into effect back in March, um, we scrambled to uh, get all of our animals into foster homes or as many of them as we could. Um, but back in June, um, we were actually able to open up for adoptions by appointment. Um, so we've been able to be doing some adoptions um, since the beginning of June. Um, and it's a little different than, you know, what we have had in person, um, where anyone interested, they're able to book a phone call with one of our animal care specialists and talk about any of the animals on our website that are adoptable. Um, and then if they see someone that they really like, um, they are able to book a uh, meet and greet appointment. So with our cats, that's going to be virtual. Um, so we're actually be doing virtual um, meet and greets with all of our cats. So something similar to what we're doing today with Groucho and Parmesan here, um, where you can see their personalities. Um, and then for the dogs, we're able to do um, physically distance meet and greets in person um, where they can come into one of our outside play yards and um, we've taken lots of precautions um, and measures so everyone stays you know, six feet apart and they're able to meet our dogs that way. So we've been able to get quite a few animals into uh, their forever homes since June, now, which is great. Now, Katie, you have um, one of my favorites, you know, the, the chunky, big headed, um, just lovable pups. Um, tell me about, tell me about this little nugget you have. So this is Gypsy. Um, Gypsy is about three and a half years old and she is a sweetheart. She loves everyone. She has a little nub tail that wiggles every time she sees anybody. Um, she's just very exuberant about life in general. And uh, she's been with us since beginning mid June. And so she's definitely ready to uh, be in a family that she can give lots and lots of love to. Now, I notice that um, her ears are clipped, which is a very, um, it's not a thing, people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it's a thing. Um, do you, can you tell us anything about her history? So we can only guess. Um, she came into the shelter as a stray and she has had her ears done, um, her tail's been docked and she has some scarring around her neck. Um, and she's definitely been bred probably multiple times. So, um, it's very likely that she was being used for some not so great things. Usually when they do their ears and their tail like that, they may have come from, uh, fighting or something along those lines. So, um, but she hasn't let it affect how she feels about people. She loves everybody. She'd probably do best as an only dog though. Um, but she uh, really, really just is so happy and excited about life. <laughs> I, I think that's the thing is, you know, that always inspires me is their so, animals are so resilient, you know, which is a lesson we can all learn no matter where they've come from, they kind of get past it. And uh, so, wow, she is amazing. Ah, uh, I like, I can't, I have like, I need a bigger house, I think, <laughs> so I can have all these animals. Yeah. Um, <laughs> tell me about uh, Groucho, what is it, Groucho and Parmesan? Groucho and Parmesan, yes. So Groucho actually has a meet and greet uh, for tomorrow, so he'll hopefully be adopted. Fingers crossed for him. But Miss Parmesan over here, 
She's running around. She is um, about eight months old and she's been with us since March 6th. So she came to us right before the Safer at Home orders you know, went into effect. Um, so she had about three months where you know, she was growing up and nobody could adopt her. Um, and so now, you know, she's looking for her forever home. She gets along with other cats. Um, she's playing behind me with a toy. She's very energetic, loves to play, um, has lived with maybe about a dozen or so other kittens and gotten along with all of them. So if anyone already has cats and are looking for a really fun, playful, friendly black cat, um, she would be a great addition because we've in the sheltering world, um, black cats and black dogs tend to take a little longer to get adopted. Um, and especially right now, since people can't come into the space and actually physically see her and interact with her and um, experience her personality. It's been a little more challenging to get her adopted. Um, right. But, you know, talking to you today, it's a great opportunity to showcase how friendly and personable she really is. I think black cats are the coolest and I, and I, I, I hate that it's, you know, that's a thing. Um, but it's also specifically why I, where's my little guy? Where are you? Oh, I, oh there he is. Uh, I adopted this, this senior dude. Cause I was Aww. like, he's a black dog. He's a chihuahua. He's got all the boxes of yeah. everything going against him. And I was like, all right, get in the car, buddy. <laughs> um, so uh, anyone looking at this video, I really hope that you know, when things open up a little bit, you take a, a moment to go to the Annenberg Pet Space because um, you all have done such an amazing job of really making it a fun place for families to go. Um, you know, you really have to go online and we'll post some stuff as well, but like the fact that you, you know, kind of make like little apartments for all the dogs <laughs> and you have these very yeah. interactive um, you know, situations and touch screens and places to meet dogs. Like, I just want to like get gypsy and like roll around on the floor with her right now. And I know you have those spots that that's something yeah. um, that in the normal times that we're able to do. Um, yeah. And so yeah, this is a, a room that uh, anyone, if you visited when we're open, you can come in and play with all of our cats and and kittens and have a great time with them. So yeah, it's I mean, really popular. And they're, they're like all over the place. It's like, yeah, yeah, they can actually climb this tree behind me. And so sometimes you'll walk in and there are cats in the trees and on bridges above your head. So it's a fantastic interactive space. Uh, I'm looking at Gypsy right now. And folks, um, if you're looking for like a couch potato, uh, Gypsy's the type of dog I, I highly recommend <laughs> like the TV buddy kind of dog, like that's exactly what Gypsy is offering right now. I mean, she may hog the couch. I know my bulldog <laughs> does, but um, they're they're wonderful dogs. I, you know, I, I'm I'm hoping for good homes. I saw uh, you did a thing. Um, I think it was a few weeks ago, and I saw Blue uh, Blue, who's still in yeah. um, at the Annenberg Pet Space, and I think I yeah. I met Blue when not a lot was known about uh, and I guess you guys are finding out new things right she's, the, she's one of the eldest there yeah he is um, and he we found that he uh, does well he does pretty well with other dogs he's been able to meet quite a few other dogs um, in the past couple of months um, and he does he does well with them you know he could coexist with a dog you know as long as he has his own space to get away from um, and it's the right dog um and he he's doing really well here with the people here and, and his routine so but i know he would love to be in an actual forever home and i'm sure katie could talk more about blue and his behavior since she works with him pretty frequently um on everything that he learns and knows so she can rave about all of the t tricks that he knows i'm just thrilled because when i when i met him um again not a lot was known and he was kind of like isolated as you guys were mm -hmm sorting out you know his, his what he likes and doesn't like so to hear that he's totally cool with other dogs is such a, a great thing to learn about an animal yeah no he's he's uh he's been doing really well we've been able to learn a lot about him next up is we're hoping to see how he does with cats <laughs> so katie if you're working if you were working with blue um like 
you know, someone who has a nice yard and he can just chill out in the sun seems like the ideal spot for this elder gentleman of the rescue world, right? Oh yeah, and he would definitely love to just hang out. He does love to train though. He really likes to do new things. Okay. He's learning how to use a nail file right now um, that we have where he actually scratches it. And uh, he thinks that that's great fun. And he has a bunch of different kind of enrichment things that we do, so stuffed palms, and he just has a blast with that. And he's so sweet. We've started having him on group walks with the other dogs. So now he, um, you can see he just kind of lights up when he gets to go on the walks with everybody. He's just very chill. I love hearing that. Um, I'm, I'm just, I feel like I need to end this Zoom or I'm gonna adopt everything <laughs> I see at this moment in time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean can't express to people enough. I, I have a lot of people hitting me up privately or like, hey, I'm looking for this type of animal or this type of animal. And I always want to encourage people to go by personality and not looks. And um, because that's really, you need to pick your lifestyle animal. Like gypsy, awesome. But those type of dogs are not hiking dogs. They, you know, they overheat, That that's not it. So you really need to look in the type of animal that's a personality and disposition wise. Um, but I, but I love the fact that I'm seeing like a, you know, stubby little, a stubby little uh, gypsy there up for adoption. Hold on. Oh my God. I have a truck right in my house. The glamorous life of, of working from home. <laughs> No, Instead of a yeah. soundproof studio. No, um, do you have any yeah. events coming up? I know you've been doing a lot of online stuff. We do. We actually have a wellness workshop coming up um, in August. It's going to be virtual. Um, where We've had a couple of these before where we've, um, Dr. JJ Rollinson has been able to communicate with other uh, animal welfare professionals in the field. So we have another one of those coming up soon in August. Um, and then we also have, um, we're beginning to bring back our Mutt Manners um, training classes with Katie here. Nice. Um, so yeah, our August classes are full, but um, we have our September classes, which are going to be on Thursdays at 5 p.m. So if anyone um, is looking or recently adopted an animal and needs some basic obedience training, um, we've got those classes coming up and they'll be outside. Everyone will be physically distanced. So we're taking all of those precautions as well and, and then by the way rescue animals like all pets need training like all dogs like whether you got it from a puppy and raised it or you adopt they all need some sort of just basic training and and they thrive from that um what would they need to prepare to go to a training session with you katie so in order for them to come into class, we want to make sure that they are fully vaccinated, um, that they bring uh, yummy treats for them to eat, because we do positive reinforcement training, um, a regular collar or harness and leash, um, and a positive attitude, because we have a lot of fun in class. And it's a great opportunity, especially right now, for us to work on getting our dogs used to seeing other people and other dogs in a space like this, because a lot of the younger dogs especially haven't been able to with everything that we're doing with social distancing, which of course we're still very safe and we're going to be masked up and socially distanced, but it gives us an opportunity to have that uh, visual stimulus for a lot of the dogs <laughs> that they haven't been able to have this time. My bulldogs uh, are the same thing, I'm like, Close mouth kissing. <laughs> She's actually really gentle with it, but she definitely likes to come at you with a big open mouth kiss. Yeah, no, she's the same way. It's, you know, I tell all the company, I'm like, she's just trying to, just trying to kiss your face. That's it. Yeah. Well, she's trying yeah. To yeah. We also have uh, daily virtual programs that we've been doing too, uh, Wednesday through Sunday. So every day, Wednesday through Sunday at 1230, we do a virtual pet encounter. Um, on Instagram Live, where one of our animal care specialists will come out with an adoptable like Gypsy there, or even Parmesan or Groucho, and talk about them and um, that they're ready for adoption and everything that they know. Um, and then we also do on Wednesdays, uh, pause and pages. So at um, 
2.30, that's on Zoom, that we'll do where um, we'll read a book and we'll have one of our adoptable animals out there as well. Um, and sometimes they, we, we try to pair the animal with the, the book. So we've had um, on National Turtle Day, um, we've had our critter cr corner animal, uh, Tommy, he's Tommy the turtle come out for that. Um, we've had Lenny the leopard gecko come out as well. So those are great times. And we try to end all of those with a little dance dance party with all of the kids or families that have, have uh, joined us. So it's a really fun time. That is a great thing for kids. I yeah. love that. What's yeah. it called again? It's called Paws and Pages and it's at Wednesday at 2.30. Um, right. And then also another uh, activity that we're doing for kids and even parents alike, adults, is um, we do a puppet show on Thursday at four o'clock um, with our guest experience staff and some of our uh, amazing puppets, Wally here, um, one of the Pet Space mascots. And they've a lot of fun, different interactive stories. Um, so that's another great uh, family fun activity for everyone to tune into on Thursdays at four. We'll make sure we post these so people can yeah. join because I certainly know that with everyone at home um, and with kids, <laughs> they're yeah. looking for yes other ways to entertain. So that's, uh, that's amazing. I love that you're doing that stuff. Let me ask, is the turtle and gecko, are those also rescues? They are, yes. So we, um, back in May, well, this, it's been in the, the works for a while, but um, our area called Critter Corner, which is highlighting that not just dogs and cats are surrendered to the shelters, but birds and rabbits and hamsters and you know, reptiles also get surrendered and are also looking for homes. Um, so our animals, they're not for adoption. They're our Critter Corner ambassadors. Um, so that everyone can meet them and learn about how to care for them. And then if they're interested in adopting, we can point them in the right direction on where they can find uh, one of those rescue critters that aren't just a dog and a cat. I love that because that is true. It's not just dogs and cats. There are so yeah. many different types of pets that have been in the home that um, need help or need, you know, want some love, even yeah. snakes. They love the love. Yeah, we have a snake. Her name's Sally. Um, she is the nicest snake I've ever met. Um, she's come out for a couple pet encounters or, as well. So um, yeah, we've got cockatiel, the rabbit, guinea pigs, hamster. Um, yeah, and Tommy and Lenny, the gecko and turtle. I love it. Um, ladies, thank you so much for taking a little time out today to talk to us. I, I really love the Annenberg Pet Space in Playa Vista. You've created such an amazing atmosphere. I really um, am looking forward to when things open up to people getting back in. Uh, you know, you've just really created a space and to let everybody know, you know, you take animals from shelters and yes. bring them there. So, yes, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's like appearances matter in even in animal rescue. And you, you're taking the same animals that are in, you know, r shelters and bringing them to this space that is so amazing and interactive and high tech and beautiful. And for some reason, people just, they just are like, woo, I got, <laughs> I have a fancy rescue. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's an amazing space. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to open up you know, in the near future um, and look forward to having everyone back in the space. And look at you. Well, good luck to the kitty cats. And you. Gypsy, you're, you're killing me right now. <laughs> if you know of anyone looking for a couch potato, you know, cuddle buddy, yeah. send them our way. Oh, yeah, I'm sending this out to like everyone I know because everyone knows I have a bulldog and they're just like, oh, where do you know? And I'm just like, there's so many up for adoption, people. Mm -hmm. That's where you look, you know, adopt, don't shop. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much. I, I love that you have a weekly schedule and that you're doing online stuff. Uh, we're posting, we'll post it with this uh, to krock.com. But um, I hope you're both doing well also during the quarantine. We yeah. are, we are. Imagine yeah. being around the animals is helping a lot. It is, it is. You, you can't be sad or stressed when you're here petting a cat or a dog. So also a bonus and positive of adopting is you would have a companion to help during this uh, these stressful times. I agree because I think I would be truly going nuts if I did not have my dogs. So I understand yep. completely. 
Um, well, thank you again, uh, Katie and um, Courtney. I really appreciate you joining us and I'm wishing the best for these, uh, these meetings and adoptions and I hope all of those uh, lovelies find homes. Thank you. It's been wonderful talking to you. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to see you all again sometime soon.